Merry meet everyone. Tonight I'm going to do a craft that's a little more personal. Uh, this weekend has been awesome. It has been very much about balance because I have had some incredible, incredible moments. Uh, got to reconnect with family. I was able to reconnect with friends. Um, it was my little girl's third birthday today, so this whole weekend was all about her and celebrating, and she was just so excited about it. And, um, and yeah, so just a lot of good times, but a lot of troubling things as well. Um, a, a lot of shadow work that I went through, and it was a little painful. Uh, definitely a realization that I've got some incredibly difficult decisions to make and some other stuff that's a little personal that just working through is this right or is this right and trying to find the truth in all matters and how it relates to me and how I can best approach things. I am very much a person when I do something, I want to be doing it for the right purposes. I want to be doing the right thing. It, it's very easy for me to look at something and say, well, I want this. Well, I want that. Well, of course you want this. Of course you want that. Everyone wants things. But why do you want this? Why do you want that? Is this for the betterment of not only yourself, but everyone involved? I, I mean... I've always been a person to question things, but especially motive and, and how is this going to interact with things and, and just <laughs> a lot of people that know me say I am an amazing worrier. I worry about anything. Uh, today even it was brought up that I stress about too much stuff and my line is always, well, it's what I'm good at, <laughs> and I'm incredible at it, but it is something I need to learn to let go of, and I, I think even this weekend, there's so many great and amazing things that happened, but they were almost overshadowed by things that I was worrying about and freaking out about that really in the end didn't matter or um, or perhaps some things didn't even come to be that should have come to be because I was so worried about this that and the other thing and regret is some of the worst thing the worst feelings you can ever have and I don't we all have them it's natural it's part of the human condition but I don't want to dwell in it, and I, I do at times. So I wanted to make um, a spell shell. I have seen spell shells before. Uh, this is kind of my take on it. So while it might not be an original thought, I've heard of spell shells. I haven't really watched a video or anything on how they're made. Um, but the couple that I've seen up online, um, I haven't seen done this way. So if if you do come across it or you see me kind of work through it and you go, oh, that's like so-and-so, I'm certainly not trying to steal anything from anyone. That's not what I'm about. Uh, so if you stumble across and go, dude, that's what I do and I have a YouTube channel. I so didn't watch it. Just disclaimer. <laughs> anyway, let's get to it, right? Um, so I've done some of the work already. Oh no, actually before I get into this, I wanted to share with you my setup. And I don't know how to show you on this camera because again, it's my phone and I am so not technologically advanced. Um, but what I've done is I've got, well, I've got my working candle. Isn't it pretty? I love it, I made it, absolutely adore it. Um, and then I've got, my divination candle for hell. I got all the inscription work and done and did all that. Absolutely adore that candle. It brings me so many vibes and so much connection. I love it. Ooh, I'm going to break things. Um, and then I've got my little selenite disc. And what I've done is 
I've got the working candle in the middle and then my divination candle off to the right side if I'm facing it and the selenite disc connects my working candle to my divination candle so my my purpose in this is my connection to hell is being kind of filtered through uh, the moon uh, energies that the selenite gives so kind of that softer motherly uh, energy but also still very much connected very calming to me that that disc that I showed you I just feel it and kind of run my hands over it and instantly calms me um, then on the left side of my working candle I've got this thing I haven't gotten the inscription on it yet I'm hoping hell forgives me um, but this is my um, this is oh my goodness I completely lost the name for a minute my um, Phoenix totem candle for uh, inner strength and um, kind of taking on obstacles and having that that bit of courage when doing so and in between that and my working candle I've got my rose quartz my rose quartz was actually gifted to me by my witchy sister in arms thank you so much love it absolutely my daughter loves it even more so than I do I think whereas my selenite is kind of my calming this is my warm and fuzzy stone I call it um, but my daughter actually gets really calm with this like um, my friend bought it for me and instantly in the car on the way home she's rubbing it against her cheek and just <sighs> so I, that's another reason I love it it definitely gives me those love vibrations um, so I have that in between my Phoenix strength and courage and just fiery energy and my working candle because I want to connect to spirit with that kind of courage and strength but I do want it to be filtered through the softer um, unconditional love energy that that stone has so and then I am working with this card from my fairy oracle deck I believe it is the star I've got the book open for a change oh it's actually creation I looked at it and instantly just saw stars and went oh, stars <laughs> um, but it is creation uh, this house of beginnings and endings with the death of a star comes great brilliance the card here in this house shows where you can find your way particularly when compared with the card in the house of the ways so while I'm not using a spread so I don't have houses and stuff that I'm working with when I when I work like this when I have an intent in mind I will oftentimes pull out a tarot card or pull out an oracle card that kind of resonates with my um, energies that I'm wanting to put in so I chose this because when I was going through my oracle cards just to kind of see what was vibing with me instantly I looked at that card and thought this is calming and that was that is the major intent in this in tonight's craft uh, oftentimes when I want to just kind of calm down and gain perspective and find that guidance um, I go out and I look at the stars I, I love looking at the stars uh, being a city girl I don't get to do it much so I that's a reason I love um, up north I love camping I love being out in the woods because you kind of get away from that city and you can actually see them uh, and the stars also are a huge guiding force I mean out at sea when you are in the woods what have you they are a way to guide someone and and you wish upon stars there's just so much connection between this card and what my intent is for tonight so I have that kind of resting on my working candle so I'm looking at that while I craft okay so now getting to the the body of tonight's work I've already started working a bit what I did is I usually work when I work with herbs I work with a nine herb blend I like the triple goddess tripled um, so I've got in here lavender mugwort sandalwood I have um, I use some oils in with this and instead of some herbs so I made a be at peace oil which I primarily use for uh, 
I'm sorry, I primarily use for uh, grieving or comforting, uh, those kind of energies. But this spell shell that I'm making, I'm calling it an echo of peace. I want this to give me peace and to aid me in the decisions that I need to make. So that oil really resonates with me and a major component to that oil is violet. Uh, violets are huge for comfort and at least with me um, not only the scent but the color itself that purple um, I also in here have rosemary